very much. Davis Love the Third does not hit a lot of these. These are slices. They're no good. Sometimes you have to penalize yourself on the range to avoid making these mistakes on the course. To help you, our Golf Channel Academy coach of the week, George Connor, joins us from Avon, Connecticut. Connor Golf. Good morning, pal. How are you? I'm doing great. This is this is a tough thing for us. It is. It's for the 20 handicap, for the 50 handicap, how do we avoid this? Why does this happen? Yeah, this is something that I see all the time on the lesson tee, and, and really where it comes from, it's an evolution of of how we start so guys playing golf and, he, and he's you know making this normal swing where it's coming from the inside and going this way and the ball goes right because the face is looking right well before long instead of hitting that shot we start coming over the top and Oof. going this way because we don't understand where the face is it's going right we don't know how to fix it and your buddy's telling you oh you're coming over the top you can't come over the top and we just get really confused that's really the evolution of it and the problem that i see and why we we don't we don't get rid of it and people just keep slicing slicing is they they see the over the top swing path and their buddies are telling them oh you know you're coming over the top damon you, you got to stop that well it just, it just keeps going right because they don't know the face they don't understand how to get the face square it's a two-step process if you fix the face then you're set up to reward yourself when you make a good swing path okay but you're gonna get penalized if you make a bad path and i think that's a great place for a student to be because even left alone they're going to be able to figure it out from there. All right, let's see you talk, let's see you do this. So, you talk about the face. So the face awareness is that what we're talking. Face awareness, Phil talks absolutely. about this. Phil yeah. Nicholson, I've heard face of this awareness, guy, but yeah. understanding. You know, you got this flat surface at yep. the end of a stick. We really don't know where it is. One of the things I see almost all the time in slicers is the the golf club is up in the palm of their hands. You know, so at, at home, if you have a, a hole in your glove right there, I have had that. Well, yeah, I admit that. <laughs> I'm being honest. So what we want to do is what we want to get the, really the club much more in the fingers. So yeah. I've got a lot of hand here now. As I, I put my hand across the golf club, that heel pad is sitting up on top, and as I look down, I can see two, even three knuckles. Right. So what I've really done is I've created a range of motion for the golf club to go this way, and so even if you just you know you could do it with a driver, you could just take an iron but feel that club face closing and start hitting some slices as ugly as that is that's fine okay because maybe that's the first time that we actually felt the club face in a square or closed position because it's been open the whole time so you're fine with hitting a couple hooks oh, to get rid of the slice absolutely okay. I, I think a slicer needs to turn into a hooker okay and then you can figure it out from there if you're going to be a fader draw or whatever else it happens to be but we, we can't have that ball curving to the right because every time it does What's the response? You know, if the ball's yeah. going to curve to the right, man, it makes sense to go this way. You just accentuate it and, and get back where we started. Okay. So once the face gets square, and again, through grip and then feeling these knuckles kind of rolling underneath the, the club, hitting some shots going that way, then you can start to work on, on the path. What about path? Now, what's the, the next step? You're talking about number two. Again, so if, if the club's coming over this way, now yep. the face is square, I get that shot, I get penalized for that. I want to get rewarded for a good path. Yes. So as long as the face is going to be consistently square to close, the, the drill that I like to give people is a one, two, three drill. Not a very fancy name, but it works. It's simple. I like it. We go up to the top of the swing. You're going to let the club fall. And when, you, when it gets to horizontal, you want to see the, the club head is inside the handle over there. So we go up once, twice, third time we're going to add some legs. And now we're starting to see a ball that maybe starts a little bit right at the Interesting. target. Interesting and then comes back to is that the slot you always hear about you want to get the ball yeah. and get the path in the slot the, the the magic move is this what is this what we're seeing here is that what we want yeah i mean that, that's what's referred to as the slot as opposed to over the top but the, the key i think the big thing is that we don't you're not using your hands and your arms to find a spot okay if you just let it kind of fall over in here and turn yeah, that's how the club's going to drop in the slot. So if it drops in the slot, you're not putting it in the slot. Interesting. I think I think when we start to struggle over hitting those slices, it's all hands and arms trying to fix it. Yes. And they're 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 what caused the problem in the beginning. You don't want any excess manipulation here. Exactly. Okay. Because you know if you're a slicer, you've proven that you you don't really have good control of that face. Correct. Using the hands. So don't put the hands in charge of repairing the damage that they've already caused. You know? All right. Let's see here one more, George. Let's all put right. it all together. The the, right. the face and the path. You ready? Yeah. You ready? You are ready. All right. I was trying yeah, to put a little pressure on the Jets Mets fan. <laughs> Oh, yes. 
That's excellent. Little baby fade. That one we can control and we can find that one. I call it a butter cut, but a baby fade is, is appropriate as well. Now, tomorrow you're going to talk about speed control, speed control on the on green? Speed control on the putting green, yeah. Okay. And uh, kind of telling you that yeah, at home you have it a little bit harder than the tour pros do. We do. Yeah. That's good to know. Well, right, George's going to help us out tomorrow. Listen, if you want to find a coach like George, go to golfchannelacademy.com to find a coach in your area. Much more to do today on Morning Drive, including value golf from Matt Janella in San Antonio and beyond. Where should you be spending your hard-earned dollar? That's next on Morning Drive.